Greetings, 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 my YouTube family all over the world. This is the one and only Patman Senatiraja back with a YouTube episode. All right, I'm trying to discipline myself. I'm recording my YouTube episode from my beautiful office. All right, where I run my global business from. Okay, with my very good friend Mike behind the camera who's been recording me for years. All right, and today is a very simple topic which I'm sure Laureen will figure out is what to expect. All right, everyone thinks that entrepreneurship, being a networker, is a beautiful journey. And yes, it is. But nobody warns the new guy on what to expect. So here is Patman Senatiraja, all right, preparing you for this journey of building your network marketing business and what to expect. Okay, simple. All right, number one, guys. All right, the number one point, and listen very carefully. All right, the people closest to you, your best friend, sometimes your family, sometimes your, your own parents will laugh at you when you announce your decision to become a network marketing entrepreneur. They will all laugh. All right, a few of them will say, I will support you by buying a product just to keep you happy. One or two of them will join you on the journey of entrepreneurship if you convince them or project this business in the right way, but the rest are going to laugh at you. All right, so be prepared for the laughter. Don't think when you announce, guys, I've joined a network marketing company. All right, come join me. And everyone will say, yes, we are with you. No way, guys. They are going to laugh at you. They're going to tell you you made the biggest mistake of your life or the stupidest decision you ever made. And this is what to expect. Why? Because they are out there, okay? They hear things. They, they don't know the reality of network marketing. They read the bull sugar online. They watch videos, all right? And there's a huge community of people who are anti-entrepreneurship, anti-MLM or network marketing who will always exist. Now, this is a great challenge for most beginners in network marketing because they think they're just going to bounce into their house and everyone is going to sign up. Now, if your family is like my family, my brothers, my mom, and they completely supported me. My mom didn't support me in the beginning because I gave away my legal career as a lawyer to become a networker. Of course, she was afraid about the security and stability of being an entrepreneur. She's a school teacher, all right? a government school teacher. They are programmed differently. And she didn't support until she came to one of my events, saw me speaking up on stage, and um, people walked up to her and said, Auntie, I'm so, you should be so proud of your son. He changed my life. And then, of course, I started achieving success. And her belief went up. My brothers, I love them, joined me immediately, no questions asked. But there were a lot of people, even in my family, even my close friends, who laughed at me. Some joined me, bought a product to support, and some laughed. But I, at, at that moment, I was upset, like you would be if you started your journey. But today, looking back 24 years, it was wrong for me to be upset. Because they are entitled to their opinions. They have been influenced by whoever they are influenced by. And maybe I did not present the business in the right way. Maybe I was too aggressive forcing them to join. You understand? First thing to expect, people will laugh at you. The world is not going to embrace your decision to become an entrepreneur. All right? Uh, people are going to laugh at you. And you just need to sing that song, all right, called I Don't Care, I Love It. You understand? you got to be resilient. you got to toughen yourself up. You have to have thick skin, as we say in Asia, all right? So you, the thing just bounces off. Are you guys with me? That's the first thing. People are going to laugh at you, all right? Second, okay, you are going to be driven by fear of failure, okay? This is normal. Because when you first start, you are enthusiastic, you are... Very positive, all right, like me. And I got a few people to sign up and buy products and join me. And then I started facing rejections. Then suddenly this whole dream I built of becoming a millionaire in 24 months, all right, was burst by a pin of reality. All right, then I got afraid, okay, of the fear of failure. Because, and the reason why you will fear failure is because the people who laughed at you said you're not going to make it. And you were afraid that if you failed and you go back to them, they're going to laugh louder. You, nobody likes to be laughed at. And be ready for this fear. All right? I prepare many people, all my downlines, I tell them, it's okay to have this fear. All right? Everyone is driven by some kind of fear, but you need to understand it. You need to manage it. I'm not going to, you know, just 
tell you, okay, overcome the fear. It doesn't work. Fear is something internal. It's complicated. All right. And my answer to overcoming that fear of failure, the fear of whatever, you're going to be driven by fear for some time in the beginning because the reality of becoming an entrepreneur hits you. Even a guy opening a restaurant, right? He puts the tables, he cuts the ribbon and then nobody comes. And then fear creeps in. Did I make the right decision? Self-doubt, fear, all these emotions starts to come in. Did I make a mistake? Did I join the wrong company? Did I do this? All of that starts coming in, guys. All right? And to overcome that fear, the only solution, all right, is for you to hang around the right group of people. It's called power of association. I don't know whether I did it. I'll do it in one of the YouTube videos. All right? That means don't go and sit alone in a dark corner and say, oh my God, did I make a right decision? Blah, blah, blah. No. Go hang out with your uplines, with the positive guys. And that energy of positivity will rub off on you and at least reduce the fear and hopefully eradicate it completely as you start to see results. Okay, this is fundamentally important. Fundamentally important. Fundamentally important. All right, overcome that fear. Manage that fear. Be in the right group of people. Spend a lot of time with that positiveness. I know I'm sounding simplistic, but it's true. I spend a lot of time with my founders, all right, and they sort of help me manage my fear, help me manage the impact of not expect, not seeing the expected results, okay? That's the thing. Manage your fear. Manage your fear. There's going to be fear. It's normal. Don't freak out, all right? Hang around the fearless people, the warriors, your uplines who have already been through this beginner's phase of entrepreneurship in network marketing. Go spend time with them. You'll be okay, I promise you. Spend a lot of time with them. Take a toothbrush and a towel, all right? My downlines used to stay in my house, sleep on the sofa, all right, when they're having a bad day because you constantly need to be energized, all right? Now, the third point, okay, is that the world is unforgiving, guys. So be completely prepared. When you Google the name of your company, no matter what company, when you Google the industry of network marketing, boom, the internet will have millions of negative articles. But it's the same for every industry. It's the same for any entrepreneur. You Google, should I open my own restaurant? Boom, negative articles. I failed. I lost my house. I lost my car. I lost my wife. I lost my husband. Whatever. All right? But be prepared for that. So don't be naive and Google your company and the industry of network marketing and think it's going to be flowers and perfume coming out. That this is the greatest industry in the world. You made the right decision. No. There's going to be a mixture. Negative, positive. Now, I have observed online that there is more negative news about network marketing than positive. Sad to say that's the reality of the world, the industry, governments, agency, the news uh, media houses, because bad news sells, I guess, all right? But just filter. Don't believe everything you read. Go back and check with your upline. Go back and check with your company. The facts will always outshine any news or any rumor. I promise you. All right? The facts will always be there. And you must be smart enough to know the difference between news, rumors, fake news, like a great president once said, and all right, the facts. Now, your organization, some of the things you should look up. I spoke earlier, the longevity of your company, the partners they have. All right, the number of officers, their product line, everything, all those things. So check out the facts. But don't be surprised at the amount of negative news that surrounds the network marketing industry. It's there. Wake up and smell the coffee. I have been exposed to this for 24 years. And I'm still here and I'm rocking it, okay? So relax. But make sure you don't take that negative news and go and sit in the corner and overanalyze it. And go deeper into the internet, you know? You understand the internet sucks you in, all right? Make sure you go back to your uplines. Make sure you go back to your company. Make sure you go back to whoever you can and verify. There's always an answer to an accusation, all right? Remember that. Now, the fourth and final point I want to share on this YouTube video on what to expect is a bit different. It actually don't expect. Now, don't expect every downline to be a superstar. 
This is life. All right? You know, a lot of people come to me and they complain, Oh, chief, I signed up this guy. He, he felt right. He looked right. He sounded right. He, he met all my checklists. I thought he was going to be my top performing downline. And now he doesn't do anything and he quit the business. Guys, don't expect anything from anyone. All right? Even if you sign up, the best of the best of the best guy. He was a, a, a diamond star in a previous network marketing company or superstar. You come here, don't expect. Network marketing has no perfect candidate. All right? I have seen housewives or homemakers or the CEOs of their homes, I call them, with zero experience in sales, corporate life, become some of the most successful networkers in my organization. I have met young kids who just graduated from college with zero experience become US dollar millionaires in a few years in network marketing. And I have had top performing sales reps from the corporate world who quit after two weeks or don't perform. All right? So don't expect anything from anyone. You train them. You give the right information. You hold their hand. You support them. Plug them into your system. Do all of that, guys. But don't ex have high expectation of anyone. Just do the best you can. Because if you expect too much from one guy or girl, all right, and that person lets you down, you get demotivated. And then you missed out on, on layering potential people. So if I have a superstar here, I will not expect the guy until he actually or she actually proves it. I will layer many people more. I keep doing presentation and putting direct referrals into my organization because you never know why somebody will switch off, when somebody will quit, all right? And you also never know when somebody will perform and rock it and become a top performer in your organization. So have no expectation of your people. Have expectation from yourself. Set your bar high and everyone will try to raise themselves to meet that level. That's all you have to do, guys. It's so simple. So I hope this video clears your expectation moving forward. All right? So expectation is the greatest enemy in network marketing. All right? When you go in expecting, 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 I'm telling you what to expect. This is the reality of network marketing, guys. So I'll see you on my next YouTube video. Love you guys.